happy Friday. Um, I haven't done one in a while again, uh, just because we've been busy with a bunch of stuff. So I thought I would give you a Friday update. Um, I don't know if I can do this as a regular thing, but I figured it's Friday morning, it's cold. Um, some of you are either working from home or working from your office, um, or just let your kids go to school. And I thought um, now's a good time just to give you kind of a recap of what's happening in the next couple of weeks. Because when we get busy, uh, you, uh, I may not have a chance to do these little updates. Um, so number one, it's Friday. Yes, you're welcome. And it also happens to be Global Drink Wine Day. So whether you're drinking with us or you're drinking at home, today is the day to give you excuse that you must drink wine today because it is Global Drink Wine Day. Uh, so that's number one. Uh, number two, I uh, see the pretty board. Ready? And there's now like little red stars. Um, so the board, yes, Alex redid the board again. Um, so that it's easier to read, but it does not include our entire bottle inventory. Uh, the bottle inventory is updated on our website for those who want to take a look at the full list. Um, and that's even going to get more detail as we go along. Um, we're trying to incorporate more things like not just the uh, country it's from, but what specific region or subregion it's from. Um, a little bit other descriptors like uh, how dry is it. Um, whether it's full bodied or not, just so that you can kind of get a better idea of different wines that you may not be familiar with and help to choose one. And those little red stars are um, our staff picks. So as a team, uh, we all kind of, when the board was done, went through each of the countries and they kind of said, oh, okay, like this is one you really need to try and this one you really need to try. So it's, uh, it's a really good excuse that if you want to, um, over the next week or so, every time you come to visit, may choose a different one that has a star beside it. Uh, and this way you kind of, you're, you're not missing out on some of our best bottles. Okay, so that's number two for the board. Uh, three, Seafood Festival starts uh, next Thursday. So our Seafood and Wine Festival uh, was packed last year. So as much as I'm doing all kinds of promotion and our classes are getting completely full, so thank you to those who signed up for that. Uh, we actually have a class on the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in the middle of the festival week. Um, the Tuesday night classic Seafood and Wine Pairing class is now sold out. Um, I do have maybe three to four seats left, I think, and the new to you uh, seafood and wine class. So that's going to be some of the more exotic, unusual uh, seafood items uh, that you've never probably get a chance to try other places. So now's your chance. Uh, and then on Wednesday is our oysters and bubbles class. So it's just like it sounds, uh, it's oysters and different kinds of sparkling wine. So it's gonna be kind of like a sparkling wine class, but all you're eating is oysters. Uh, so you get a dozen oysters with your, um, with your wines, and I'm going to teach you how to shuck oysters, which will be fun. Uh, so at least you get a couple of them going, and then we will shuck the rest for you, so don't worry. And then uh, you get to take home the um, our little silicone holders uh, so you don't hurt yourself, just like we use in our kitchen, as well as your shucking knife so that you can be an oyster shucker at home. Okay, so that's, and there's only so many seats left for that one too. I think there's maybe, I want to say five, maybe six, um, but the sooner you get them, the better. Uh, so that's for those. And then we have live music on Fridays and Saturdays. So Jacob Starling and Brian Quebec are going to be here uh, with some funky jazz on Fridays and Saturdays um, for two hour sets uh, for both the opening weekend and the closing weekend. And then um, we have that. And then we have an all seafood menu for the whole um, festival time. So any other night that we don't have a class, um, including weekends or on a Wednesday, feel free to, not the Wednesday, the Oyster Bubbles, sorry, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that following week. Anyways, you can come in and get, um, like there's crab cakes, the lobster mac and cheese is back. And yes, I got some really good lobster for that one. And then I bought, uh, we're doing the sea seafood cataplana, which I introduced last year, which was a huge hit. It feeds two. Uh, so either come very hungry to have on your own or you can bring someone to share it with you so you can try other things. But um, it's like steamed uh, seafood. It's a, it's a dish from Portugal. Uh, steamed seafood that the broth has got like saffron, tomato. It's a very aromatic. It's amazing. Um, there's like mussels and clams and shrimp and um, or even some uh, pork sausage in there. So anyways, it's phenomenal. And then uh, just like in the summer, we're doing the sea again. 
Um, that one's gonna be on the menu, slightly smaller than the massive platter I did last summer. Uh, this one's gonna be done in more of a tower format um, and a little bit so you're not like hurting yourself. So again, you can have that and have other things as well. So that's for the entire festival weekend. You can check out the website at any time. When you go to the top menu bar under events and classes, you'll see the link to the seafood and wine festival. And then you can see all the things. Oh yes, and I'm also doing a cooking class on the Saturday. Uh, for those who want to come for a fun little lunch uh, for some uh, freshly made salmon riette uh, and a perfectly paired glass of wine. Uh, I think that's a lovely way to spend a Saturday afternoon. Okay, uh, so, so seafood festival. Um, next event that I need to talk about is singles night. Now, I got a lot of calls and messages from people asking me to do a singles night here. We tried it a while back. It didn't work out so well. Um, we had a few, um, that time there was a bunch of guys that bought tickets and all the ladies who asked me to host it didn't buy tickets to the last minute because they like to go with all their friends. That's what I was hearing. Well, my friend couldn't make it, so I don't want to go. And so this time it's opposite. So right now we have more women than men that have signed up so far. So all you gentlemen who happen to be watching right now, or if you know a single gentleman who might be just nervous or waiting to the last minute, uh, as you know, we have a maximum capacity here of 30. So right now I can tell you that we have 19 tickets sold already. So the last ones, of course, are gonna go quickly. Um, it is just a very easy going. There's no speed dating networking thing. There's no games. Uh, it is basically going to be a, uh, a big wine tasting mingling type thing. So you can kind of walk around, taste wines. You can ask the person beside you, which one are you tasting? So it's kind of like a, um, it gets the conversation starting. So at least that, and you have something in common because obviously you're all over here because you like wine. Uh, so hopefully that will be a starting thing to a, um, whether it's romance or friendship, either way, you get a chance to meet people. Uh, so if you know any gentlemen that want to meet some lovely ladies, um, they're, they're coming in fast and furious, so you just need to catch up. Okay, so that is Monday, March the uh, 6th, and if that singles night goes well, we'll plan more of them and more like party type ones in the summer, but we need to kind of get the ball rolling, get the word out, so spread the word. Okay, and then the last fun thing, for those of you who don't subscribe to the newsletter, and you really should, uh, we are going to start brunches soon, so yay! So Sunday brunch, the first one, we're actually gonna, just gonna start, I have them scheduled once a month, um, for the time being and then um, as we see how busy it is we will book more of them um, that's just the way it's, it's easier for us and we're actually starting to get requests for private group brunches as well so we don't want to take up all of our Sundays where we can't do private ones anymore because people are asking us for private ones so uh, first one is a Sunday March 19th it is going to be a la carte meaning it's not like a class type thing where you have to choose five different things um, it's going to have uh, some of our regular tapas things that kind of work well for brunch and then we're introducing a couple of new things like the pecan pie french toast will be there you're welcome uh, I'm also doing a, um, a uh, egg scramble with chorizo sausage for those who are on keto uh, so we'll have that that'll be in there and then I'm trying to remember what else I was putting in uh, oh tartines uh, so we're gonna do tartines are kind of like a larger crostini um, so we're gonna have three different ones. You can either get a smoked salmon one, an avocado one for those who need their avocado toast picks. Uh, and I can't the last one I was gonna do. Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, there's three of them. So anyways, the tar oh, mushroom, we're doing a mushroom tartine. So uh, you can have one of those and a glass of wine. Oh, and speaking of glass of wine, uh, we're gonna be introducing our mimosa cart on the Sunday brunches. So uh, our little rolling cart that usually has some of our wines that we kind of bring around table to table on occasion. This one's just gonna be filled with all kinds of bubblies and uh, different kinds of juices and garnishes. And uh, basically it's gonna be the price for the uh, well, mimosa from the mimosa cart. It'll come to your table and you can kind of mix and match as your heart's content. So if you like grapefruit juice with your rosé sparkling, your, your call. If you happen to want a um, uh, tomato juice, because you're kind of into that uh, mini Caesar thing, by all means. So anyways, it's going to be kind of fun. We'll kind of mix and match some stuff, and I think it'll be a, a, a way to kick off the spring season. So the first one, again, is uh, Sunday, March 19th, and then we will do them. Uh, every month there's different dates, so you can actually see them now on our website. They're not necessarily posted through Facebook or Eventbrite yet, though, okay? Um, I think that's about it for now. Um, we're getting uh, ready again for another busy weekend ahead. So if you're planning to come and sit with us at all, please make your reservation soon. Um, just so that we can squeeze as many people in as we can. Because um, we don't care if it's cold outside. There's always wine. Have a good day. Bye.